Hello, hello, DRock here. Welcome to the channel. On a previous trip to this area in the Nevada desert, I discovered the remnants of a prehistoric village. It was a very exciting day, and after thinking about the area for a while, I decided it might be worth it to have another look. I started to search at the last place I was physically at. I continued to look down the drainage, and sure enough, I saw ruin after ruin. The pits followed alongside the long drainage for some distance, and they were big. I was ready to go have a look. I also began looking at the red sandstone formations near the ruins. I noticed lots of ledges and walls. Great locations for possible rock art, I thought. It was time to go back to Nevada. So please join me as I head out into the desert and discover what once was. Cold and windy morning, but that's all right. Keep the snakes at bay. It's not supposed to get too warm today. I think the high is like 50. That's not bad for low desert, but it is pretty breezy. And I'm in a new area, as I explained, I feel like there are more roasting pits out here or possibly pit houses so luckily I was able to get the truck in a ways but I had to ditch it and I'm sorry but I'm my I'm kind of fixated on what looks to be a very large cave up in there I don't know if I should go ahead and run up there right now or hit it on the way back. Yeah. That would have been uh, some pretty good shelter up in there. It's worth having a look. It's not too far. Wow. This is how you start a day off good. I totally wasn't expecting to find a big old cave like this. And there's a small one to the right of it. Oh yeah. There are some fires in that one. Oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. That's totally blackened from, from fires. So this is a small one here. Got some, oh look at that, all the way up here. A nice flat rock. So you can see, looks like some, a wall or something was built out in front of this, so. It's exciting. Let's make our way over to the big one. There is without a doubt. This was, uh, Oh, and moly. All right, so there's charcoal all in, mixed with the base here. And it should just go without saying that this, uh, there's, there's just, it's gonna black all up there from fire. So this would have been uh, a pretty cool place to chill. I don't see any rock art though. 
no, no carvings. However, it is obvious that people hung out in here and uh, this would have been a good place. Boy, imagine waking up to this view every morning. Yeah, and as you can notice, the ceiling of the cave is just completely blackened with soot. So there are a lot of fires in here. Very interesting. Very interesting. How cool is that? I don't see any markings, though. It's, it's no big deal. Sometimes it's like that. All right, well, that was a good find already today. That's encouraging. Sometimes little things like that keeps you interested in pushing on. We're gonna make our way back down to this uh, drainage. And we probably get another mile and a half that away. So I'm pretty excited because I really feel like uh, we're about to discover a few more roasting pits. And speaking of roasting pits, there was a great video that the uh, Pima put out. I always got to be a little cautious out here early morning with the dog. Keep an eye out for coyotes, so she's staying pretty close right now. Um, and uh, it, it showed them doing roasting agave and the whole process. And it was just absolutely fascinating. And the amount of fuel it took to get the pit started was pretty extraordinary. And a pattern I'm seeing with these roasting pits, that they're always near... Uh, well, they're always around so far in my experience the base of mountains and in the desert here They're close to base of mountains and I believe that's because They would be able to go up and get fuel because out here you can see well, what are they gonna burn? There's just not much you know, twigs and stuff, but if you go up a little little higher in elevation you start getting into uh, like juniper forest and something so you'll have access to, to more resources however just that, that also depends on how old all this stuff is I mean, 10,000 years ago out here in the Nevada desert things were a little different than what they are now and there's also another possibility so what I think might be more roasting pits off in the distance like I said thousands of years ago this landscape would have been slightly different probably a little more vegetation wetter but maybe the roasting pits are moving back towards the mountains from out here the lower desert to the elevation because they run out of fuel and they just have to keep moving them Does that makes sense kind of makes sense to me so you have to move the pit to where the fuel is because it's just it takes so much fuel to fire off one of these things as evidence because those first pits I came across were huge so these look pretty big the ones I, I may be coming up to uh, in the distance here and there it is there's a pit there's a roasting pit it's right there oh my. there's another one I knew it fantastic this is a big one too Oh yeah. Yup. Oh, look at this. Whoa, that's a big one. Uh, mm. Not 100% convinced this is just a roasting pit. This might have been a dugout, a pit house of some type, but um, this is amazing. This is huge. And there's like four or five of them out here. I knew it. Man, look at this. this is big, 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 big.
Wow. I'm in the center of this thing right now, and this is just, it's just all ash in here. I think this is actually a roasting pit. It's a big, big roasting pit. And there's agave all around. The whole place is covered in agave. So uh, the question is, is, where did they get all the fuel to burn? Uh, those slopes might have been covered in trees. Who knows? But it, I could be wrong. This, this may not be a roasted pit, but the inside is just, there's nothing but char. I mean, they would have, I understand the fact they would have, if this was a pit house, they would have had fires and everything inside. But, um, you know, who's to say really? But this is, this is very, this is awesome. I knew it. Well, this is absolutely fascinating and like I mentioned there's more than one of these in this area as a matter of fact I think there's like five so I'm about to go check out another one and I'm just under the impression they're they're giant roasting pits so as I wander around uh, the pit here I'm seeing definite evidence of tool making because I've got debitage I'm gonna go in closer with the camera another camera here this is lithic material that's been chipped and uh, used for tool making. And this stuff is everywhere. So once again, I'm not seeing any pottery. So this, this area may predate ceramics. So just over here is one of the pits. There's, like I mentioned, a few of them in this area that I'm currently in. And what I'm standing in right here, this is, this is a massive drainage. So like I said, these pits are generally on the sides of drainages. At least that's the pattern I've, I've, I'm seeing with my experience thus far. And here's another one. How oh, amazing is this kid? Oh, look at this. Just like before, large flat rocks. this pit oh, wow. another huge pit extraordinary wow yeah there's charring all the way up now when I was looking at this area on Google Earth I counted five pits so there's some more right over there and I think there's another one somewhere over here. So I need to point this out. So get this flat stone, this large flat stone there and another one there. Another one here, right up on the base of this pit. There's probably, if I really get down here and look at the ground, there's probably just lithic material all through here. Oh, I can't resist. I'm hoping that this is, that we stumble some into some rock art today, but if not, it's already been just a fantastic day, successful, but man, I really would like to see art with all this evidence here of of people like in the last video I did I didn't find any rock art and there's so much evidence that people have been in the area like lots of people so once again we're in that same position and 
I'm back in more sandstone, so hopefully uh, it's gonna pay off this time and we find some art. Boy, this here looks like it'd be a good spot. I think uh, I'm in the presence of a ruin right here. Look at the placement of the rocks. Huh. That's definitely... There's no art here. Oh, man. Yeah, this could have been... Oh, there's just evidence of fire all in here. And in there, that big chunk broke off from right there and fell down. So, no telling how old that is. But, uh, yeah, there's just, there's charred stone and everything in here. Oh, I think this is, uh, this might have been a dwelling here. And all around this area, like I'm seeing all kinds of evidence of fire. And once again, we've got evidence in the sun there. Debitage. Yeah, it's everywhere. I'm not seeing hardly any. Whoa, wait, is that pottery right there? Ooh, no, that's not. I'm not seeing any pottery. Wow, look at that. That's a big chunk right there. Ooh, just when I thought, as always happens. There we go. Got a piece of pottery. Look at that. Look at the sun there. And it's, it appears to have uh, paint on it. That is pottery right there. Well, how about that? I found that right there. All right. That is exciting. So now I'm really under the impression that this is probably ruins right here. And once again, there's no rock art. Why? Why, 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 why? Just walk in and always looking at the ground and check this out that's very finely worked blunt tool there let me get another camera just to have a look at this close up focus there you can see how how that was worked maybe some type of scraper but that's uh pretty precise right there Yeah, definitely thinking some type of scraping tool, perhaps. Very cool. Let's put that back. It's a cold breeze. So I'm not gonna go on the top, but I'm gonna stay kind of on the edge here and I'll keep an eye out because I know there's more, there's more pits. There's one right here. There's a really big one right here. And then the first one's just beyond that one right over there. But I know there's like two more pits, or actually three more in the area. So you can tell as I get up a little bit in elevation, just this massive drainage right here. So at one point, that's a lot of water moving through the area. I feel like that's another pit down there. I'm gonna wander down, have a quick look as I make my way over here. That's the first thing I start seeing, big flat stones. There's one right there. There's one right there. Yep, it's a pit, all right. Whoa. You know what? Um, I don't know, this might actually be a ruin. I can see it's either a ruin or it's it's an older pit that uh, that's completely filled in. But the flat stones are around it. It's definitely human made. Yeah, it's got the characteristics of a pit. All the shattered rock around it. But, uh, 
Hmm, I don't know. This looks a little different here. It's stacking stones. Holy moly. So I'm going to use a uh, another camera to get a close-up of this. This, I just found something absolutely extraordinary. That is a point. Look at that. Wow. Tip's broken off, but there you have it. And that's right where I'm, right beside this old pit, pit house or roasting pit, one or the other. So I just found that piece and then I also found plain Jane pottery here. I think this is a ruin. Once again, it's right next to the drainage. It's the pattern. So I'm on the edge of the drainage. This is the drainage here. You can definitely tell because all the exposed rock here, but I need to point this out. As I point out by the ruin, all the flat stone, here's another one that's almost buried, but this is sandstone. This is completely different than like the rock you see here in the drainage. So this was farmed. Those flat rocks are farmed and brought in. So it's either, <clears throat> Yeah, it's either a pit house or a roasting pit, or both. Yeah, there's lots to contemplate. More flat sandstone. Uh, I think um, this whole area right here might be ruins of, uh, of a small village. Right on the edge of this large drainage. I'm no expert. I'm cutting across and heading out to the base of those cliffs right there. Extremely successful day thus far. All we need to top it off is a little rock art. that but so far nothing just hmm, strange Ooh. got rain coming in you can see it off in the distance I think that's uh that's our cue we're gonna get out of here do not want to get caught in the dirt back here if we got a downpour and that is raining in the distance oh man rain wasn't supposed to come in until tomorrow well, here's we got a nice little walk back in the rain. All right, made it back to the truck. All good. I thought uh, we were gonna get a pretty good squall coming in, but I never can tell what what weather's coming over the mountains. So we got a little uh, few drops here and there, and then that was over with. So. Nice walk back, didn't discover anything that we hadn't already seen. So uh, that was a successful day, I would say, even though we didn't find any rock art, but we found well-used caves, pits, whether they're pit houses or roasting pits, and uh, some ruins. So we've got some pottery, lots of lithics, so it's a very successful day. Still stumped about the rock art. Don't know what to think about that, but like I said, a few miles to the west, there's heavy concentrations of it. So maybe, maybe that's where they put their energy over there, not over here. I don't know. Who knows? Mystery is deep, no doubt about that. Well, folks, thank you very much for watching. Lots more content on the way. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's free. It helps us tremendously. It grows the channel. Thanks again, folks. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.